Get in, lads. Episode two of the Get in Football podcast is here. We're excited. You should be excited. We got some MLS stuff today, per usual, because everyone loves MLS, it seems. Uh, we got some Chelsea Graham Potter and expanding to Premier League manager stuff. After that, we got Lionel Messi. We pretty much got the whole footballing world in one episode right here. Second episode of the Get in, the Fo- Get in Football podcast. If any of that interests you, please stick around. Please watch the rest of it. Let us know your thoughts on all these topics, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you want more footballing content, recaps, more shorts, uh, game reactions, all kinds of crap, consider subscribing. Like the video, blah, blah, blah. My name is Thank Elijah. You. I'm here with Andres and Diego. And we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start with MLS because everyone likes MLS, Everybody. like I said. Everybody. Everyone likes MLS, it seems. I tried two... The two videos, not counting shorts, that we have over a thousand are both MLS videos. I'm not going to lie. With how many how many views it's getting, I actually feel kind of underqualified now. I know. I know. I know. I, and I'm afraid to, like, now I'm like, shit, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of, like, <laughs> Our I'm boy like, oh, Dave is going like... to call us out. <laughs> we're not going to know. Like, don't okay, worry. I, I, don't I will worry. say, we'll touch up. We'll touch you up. know what, we're, we, we, I'm confident in our knowledge of MLS that we can talking about it, and we'll, it's only going to improve because this is obviously yeah. what... People want want to watch, so it's the content we're going to create. Of mm-hmm. course, um, with the last video, if you watch that last video, had over two thousand or over a thousand three hundred views about St. Louis. Thank you for watching that. Thank you for liking that and commenting on that. If you did, especially if you disagreed with us, because I like hearing disagreements and I like expanding my knowledge and, and opinions about things. So thank you very much for that. We'll keep it up as best we can. Um, blah blah blah. So MLS, I specifically want to talk about the fact that. The season is different than every other league in the world. It's a very, it's, it's, we start at the beginning of the year. We end. When do we end? Like, uh, like, uh, so, uh, uh like, like September-ish? September-ish? I don't know. But like, like end of summer, end of summer. Google, we go. Yeah, go look it up. October. There we go. There we go. Okay. Around there. Like, 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 a, like baseball, essentially. It's, yeah, it's kind of like baseball. Um, this leads to a lot of different things, a lot of different issues. We have different transfer windows. We have we don't have the same international breaks as other leagues. That that's the biggest one I want to talk about is we don't have the same international breaks. We got a lot of things, and then in the end, I want to, I, I would like to determine whether or not we should change that. Specifically, though, I'm going to use the example for USA Mexico. I think we play April 19th. I think it is yeah. USA versus Mexico, not during an international break. I'm just going to put that out there, meaning. That clubs are not, I mean, even during a normal international break, they're not obligated to send the player, but even more so now, this is mid-season, mid-week, clubs do not have to give up players if they don't want to. Meaning the likes of Christian Pulisic won't be available, Tyler Adams won't be, won't be available, Weston McKinney won't be available, Brendan Aronson, things like that, more than likely not. Um, meaning we won't have, USA, the U.S. Men's National Team, won't have a good side the side they want to play against Mexico. Whereas Mexican players mostly come for the Mexican league. I'm sure they can have most of the team that they want. And that gives them the advantage. Let's talk about it. What do we think about differing seasons? It's annoying, especially in career mode in FIFA. No, I'm joking. No, okay. <laughs> serious note. Oh, okay. <laughs> On a serious note. Um, this is why no, we're I, qualified. Because it's career mode knowledge. I'm just, just joking. It's on, it's on just, just, for, just for jokes. Ah. Just for jokes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I have an immediate thought, and and I, I oh, I'll let you go. It is it go. is it is basing it off of not seriously, but it is basing it <laughs> off of what you're saying, um, hmm. and also because I literally just went to an MLS game a couple weeks ago, uh, it was an international break, and they had to play their academy players, and that sucked. Uh, there were some bad players on there. No offense to them, <laughs> they weren't great. Poor and, guys. And as right. uh, you know. <laughs> They were trying they're, to get they're there. They're trying their best. They're trying their best. <laughs> they're getting their opportunities, but they weren't very good. And, you know, um, as someone who, yes, I don't go to every game. So when I do get the chance, it does suck a little bit when you don't get the, your, you know, uh, at least a good team. And not because of injury, but because literally they're not even in the country. They're in the freaking Europe playing for the European teams or, you know, their international teams or whatever, or, or, where, or maybe North America, you know, somewhere in North America. But right. basically, that's not, I, I didn't particularly like that because I was like, man, I wish. Well, well, we went to San, uh, my brother and I went to San Jose and, and Toronto, so they didn't have like Mark Anthony Kay, who's playing for Canada. Uh, San Jose, they're missing someone from the US. I forget his name right now, but my point is that sucks. 
And purely as an entertainment value, like at face value, I, you want to see the best players play. It's like in basketball when people talk about load management. You want to see the best players mm. play, and it sucks when they don't play. And so I know this is a little different, but same to, to the same point that, you know, we, you, uh, someone who went during a national break, uh, obviously you could blame me for choosing the wrong timing. Sure. But it just happened to be the game we went to. And that kind of, I didn't like that. I wanted to see the best players, play, and we got to see some academy players, which is meh. I, I think, I do think it is interesting too, that like this is happening in America because America is known for the high ticket prices. Right, yeah. and you got to pay true. Yeah. Yeah. God knows how much for a decent seat at a regular soccer, basketball, football, baseball game, right? And the fact that we have to pay this much to go watch the teams play that we're supposed to be supporting, it's like our duty. You know, if, if, you know like sometimes I make it feel like it's our duty to help them grow and things like that. Only for us to go, and then our favorite player is not playing. It's a like, Bad game. Just for context, again, Dago's game ended zero zero. Like, yeah. we, like we have to pay all this, not see the great players game, play, and no goals being scored sometimes. Things like that. Like I, I find that a little infuriating, yeah. Yeah. and that yeah. doesn't happen in the Premier League. Of course, Premier League tickets are expensive as well, but at least you're pretty confident. And you know, like depending on who they're playing, you kind of know who they're going to play. You yeah. kind of know when Liverpool's going to play Mo Salah, when Holland's going to play for City. You know, that kind of thing. So I find that yeah, that's what's the one con about the USA. I, I, I can't speak too much to ticket prices. I can speak to them in the US, but I don't know how they relate to those in Europe. I think I don't have any numbers there. I, can, I think they're kind of, they're I kind can of speak similar about, a little bit. I can speak about West Ham because I have looked into West Ham ticket prices just to see just to see how much it would cost to go to yeah. a game. And like for, I know it's Europa Conference League, but it's like only like 20, 15 pounds to be able to get a ticket to go into the stadium for a Europa conference league. And I think it's like, because I see a lot of fans complain about like ticket prices and they'll be like, Oh, like 80 pounds for a ticket. Like that's crazy. It's like, okay, well here it's, you know, I know it's inflation and stuff. So it's about like probably like 95 us dollars here. Yeah. But like, that's not bad to be fair. And for a premier league game, that's not bad. And here compared to, you want to go see LAFC, it's like 140, 150. If you want to be on the lower deck. So I feel like um, mm. ticket prices in Europe are pretty good for the seat quality. And also, like, uh, I'm blanking. Shit. Uh, someone <laughs> save me. I'm blanking. I mean, like, Sorry. not only the seat quality, but also, like, the size of the stadiums are tend, tend to be much bigger than the ones in the MLS especially. Like, the San Jose one, don't get me wrong. It was, it was very nice, very well kept. I liked it a lot, but it was very small, and which is cool. Don't get me wrong. I, don't, I think some people might like that small feel. But, like, when you compare them to some of the stadiums in Europe, they get big, they get loud, and it's just the atmosphere is just, like, un, you know, it's unparalleled. And I mean, the, um, yeah, the, the thing, I mean, the only reason MLS, like, don't do that, I feel, is also because, like, unfortunately, they don't expect people to fill it out. You know, like, like, no. Like, <laughs> LAFC has a, I forget how many, like, 30,000 seater or so. I think slightly below that. Like, like, okay, like 20 something? Tw- like, like, low to mid 20s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, like, it's not that high compared to a lot of stadiums in in the European leagues, but because they know they can't fill it out, so they kind of use it to their advantage, and they set they the way it's like constructed and things like that. You know, makes it loud, and the people, the fans, they they know they can fill it out, giving the impression that you know that's a hot new thing. Yeah, uh, things kind of like that. And with that, obviously, it does come more ex- um, exclusivity, making the tickets a little higher, but they shouldn't be as high as they are now. Uh, especially if you want the people to come in, if you want to expand, it shouldn't be a rich person's game. You know, it should be, oh yeah, I'm taking my kids. For, you know, let's just go. Why not? That kind of thing to most people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and then the, the, then this relates back to the fact that even if they get the opportunity to go one time, oh, Carlos Vela's not playing. Like That's because he's a car, you know. Yeah, it's like things like me. that. Ch- Chicharito's not playing, you know, like like just things like that. It's just yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's it's infuriating almost because it's not something that should be happening. Um, if you want to be sad. taken seriously, yeah, that was sad times. agreed. <laughs> I was so agreed. it was after the Galaxy game where he got injured, and it, mm. they were playing Minnesota, and then it was announced that he wasn't playing. I was like shit. I was like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like damn. I came to see him, I mean, but luckily when I went to see Chicha, he played, so we're good. I will say like it. There is very times where it does create magic, kind of magical moments. When I, last time I went to go see LAFC, it was against supporting Kansas City, 
and we had 13 players gone on an international break, um, caught up, and we were supposed to get rocked. And I didn't know that until I, I, I went, and I was like, oh, crap. Like, why do we do this? I paid for my family's tickets, too. And we go there, and we killed them 4-0. So, like, there are moments like that, but there shouldn't be have to be moments like that. We shouldn't have to see the right side and see something like that because there should be no thing. Like, that shouldn't yeah. be a thing. Yeah. Um, it was pretty annoying. Uh, I think also I, I feel like it needs to change. Yeah, also for the players' perspective, too, it's because, you know, they, they have a decision to make to play for their country or play for their club, and depending on the situation at the club they're playing for, because it could be playoff season or something, yeah. and there's a national break or, like, an important game in the national break, and then an important game for the club, and then they're left to decide who to play for. And it's a yeah. tough decision to make for their careers. So I feel like that's another dimension for them that's unfortunate. But it's the MLS, so not a lot of players have that quite that big of a predicament. Not like not to be rude to any players, but like no, saying, but yeah, like, it's true though. I mean, and like up and coming players, they might have, um, like like let's talk about like Thiago Almada, Almada, Almada for for yeah. Atlanta United, yeah, killing the game right now. Baller, by the way, Baller. he is destroying it, and he's getting caught up to the Argentine national team. What if that week they're playing the number one seed in the in the Eastern Conference? Um, I don't. I'm not staying for that if I'm if I'm playing and or starting for the Argentine national team. Yeah, but some yeah. players might. He, but he might, and then the Argentina lose out on Diego Armada coming up, and he loses an, an international cap. It's a stupid predicament. It's a predicament no one else in the world pretty much has. The U.S. I think the USA. They're trying to take advantage of the fact that many sports don't happen in this time. It's really only baseball. Football yeah. doesn't start till like later, like towards the end of the MLS season. Basketball is about to go into the playoffs right now, meaning it's almost done. Um, hockey's almost in playoffs right now. Yeah. So they, they're trying, they're they're trying to take advantage of that. Months. Exactly. So they're, they're trying to take advantage of that. And while although I think it's great, and it does drive people to stadiums, drive people to games, things like that, it's not a good idea. It needs to, sw- it needs to change around. And this relates to the other video. The MLS needs to be more European than American to succeed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Oh, a little segue here. It wasn't planned, but I also do want to talk about Apple TV. Um, so I didn't know you had to pay for no, it. <laughs> yeah, had to pay exactly. For it. That's why I'm talking about it because okay, so you have to pay for Apple TV. Everyone knows that it's, a, it's another subscription fee. It's really not worth it except for Ted Lasso, in my opinion. Yeah, um, and that's kind of that's kind of it. That they dropped, by the way. I haven't watched the season at all yet, um, but <laughs> <laughs> but I will. And it's the only reason. And then they bring MLS and Apple TV, and I think before. That actually happened. It was a lot of negativity, understandably so. And then it started, and then it's like everyone's kind of like, okay, it's cool. Um, and then now I think people are starting to realize like you do have to pay for it, and you don't have you don't have access to all the game access to all the games without paying for it. There's like two or three free ones. Um, so you do have to pay. It's like fifteen bucks a month, which is crazy. I'm not paying fifteen bucks a month for the for for. Unless I, w- I mean, I might, but like you know, I don't want to, because it's annoying. Um, there's no need. And there's really no need. There's no need. And they, I pay for they have all the game. Already. Exactly Shit. for the Premier League, and they have all the games on Saturdays. All the games on Saturdays, meaning even if you're paying fifteen bucks, you can't really catch all the games, because you have to pick like one out of the four that's happening at that time. Um, yep. So like, what's the point? You know. Yeah, like you might you're, not your you're not getting your money's worth. You're not getting your money's worth. worth, and you're paying additionally for Apple TV. Which I was like, I was like, oh, LAFC is playing right now. I'm gonna watch the LAFC yeah. game because I have an Apple TV subscription. And then it says, oh, you gotta pay for it. I was like, what? I'm not gonna pay extra yeah. to watch the game. That's crazy. I mean, like uh, sometimes, like the games are still shown like in Spanish on different channels, and yeah. sometimes in English too. Um, but like that's you're paying 180 bucks a year. Just to watch one, maybe two games a weekend, mm-hmm. and then you got it pretty much unless unless you want to sit there and watch the rerun of it, the recording. Of it. I don't want to do that though. I mean, I'm not doing that. Whoever does that's whack. Well. I'm sorry, but if you're you're one of those people, you're weird. I'm gonna be dead Damn. serious with you people. <laughs> it, this is the thing called highlights. Just watch a 13 minute <laughs> clip and you're good. Damn. All right. Well. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Out there. I'm, Jesus. I'm sorry. It just popped into my head. <laughs> I, I, Unless you're like doing like tape analysis, that's the only reason why you should watch reruns. I, 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 I rewatched like the a... Champions League final against Bayern Munich like in 2012. Like I See, you're that. weird. 
That's I want to add a counter to that. My my dad doesn't get home from work until late, and so he wants to catch a game, a Champions League game. Sometimes you gotta, you know, just he doesn't watch see the news and see he'll watch the the recorded. See, that's so, that's, that's, that's that's fine though. Because I mean, like that's that's, that's different saying, also. Like, but but you because you guys aren't paying for Apple TV though. Is what I mean. Well, no, he well, yeah, is but paying for Apple TV. To I mean, well, you said sorry, you said Champions League, so I, I, I meant as an example. Not, but like, if it. for some reason, I don't know. MLS is not important, so I doubt he would ever do that. But if it's still the point is for, for Champions League, you have to pay for Paramount. Um, yeah, you know, and yeah. so it's still like a subscription you're paying for. Um, I don't think you have to pay extra though to get the Champions League, unlike Apple TV, which is no, you don't. So it's just a money grab. It's but a money grab. It, it is. Yeah. It is. I mean, I don't. Really it's is. Apple. I mean, come on. We should have saw this coming. It's Apple. You well, know, and like the thing about it too is like they're not doing good. Like, their projections, I think they've reached, like, 40% of it. Like, that's so low. Like, that's not good at all. Okay, like, okay, I have I have the thing up here. If you're paying, if you want to watch pretty much anything football-related, this isn't counting your national games. So, MLS is $15. Sorry, MLS Apple Plus standalone, meaning MLS only. You don't even have access to the rest of Apple TV. Meaning no Ted Lasso. $15. Paramount Plus, $5. Peacock five dollars, ESPN Plus is ten dollars, so that's what thirty five bucks a month just to watch what you want to watch. Yeah, yeah, that's so annoying. Yep. And especially for MLS, if you want to grow, it should be hey, just come watch, just yeah. get the ratings up. That's more money. Just you're flipping through channels. Oh, LAFC is playing Seattle right now. Let's just throw it on real quick. King, it's Why like not? The, with the Kings League. It's it's a free stream you can watch. It's like dog. Kingsley, um, I, I know, I know, very, very like, like completely different type of an example, different league. But it's like you know, it's growing yeah. and popular because it's free to watch. So yeah. I'm just saying, you know, the MLS was fine when it was just on Fox Sports. You know, you could catch a game, and your Agreed. local, your local te- uh, television station would show your local team. But like now, right. it's like I don't. I guess you can still do that. It's like you can still watch an LAFC, LA Galaxy game. But it's like it's. It's just the money's not worth it, and then if you're you're like a proper football fan, you already have a Peacock or a Paramount subscription, so it's like there's no point to pay that extra fifteen dollars or I that also, whole year. I think an interesting um, comparison as well is that we have amazing Premier League coverage. Um, if you have we Peacock, do. you can watch class. every game better than England. Yeah, even even better than England. Crazy. And yeah. that's yeah, that's what I'm about to bring up. Uh, I remember reading a tweet. Um, someone was saying in England how. They listed all the streaming subscriptions they have to pay if you want to watch every single Premier League game possible during the weekend. And yet, they still have blackouts as well. So they sometimes can't yeah. even, after paying over a hundred, well, the hundred pound per, per you know month for 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 these subscriptions, um, or or per year, or whatever it is. Um, so my point is like, it's weird because like our own domestic league is is. I mean, yes, we get all the games, but we have to pay more. But we get insanely yeah. good prem coverage. While over there in England, they're like, I'm jealous of the way of how much we have to pay to get how much access. Like the, the proportionality of it compared to them is insane. Um, yeah, and we just, and I, we're, we're kind of lucky in that, compared to the we are the over there. And if we were sponsored, we are. that would be a great segue to sponsor a <laughs> VPN service, but we're not. So, <laughs> so we're not going to say any VPN service. Oh, but if uh, we were, that would have been a great segue. I feel like. Okay, the whole point of has having really good Premier League coverage, right, is so that the Premier League can grow in size and stature in a new market, that being the American market, which it has greatly in the past decade. Um, phenomenally. Uh, like, there's so many, I, I see so many Premier League kits walking on my college campus. Yeah. I see, I hear people talking about it all the time, you know. Uh, people like us, like Americans making content on it, things like that, right? It's grown tremendously. So why isn't the MLS doing that? If their whole thing is to grow it, why not have the exact same kind of coverage here? Like, what's the point? I understand making money and all that, right? But why not just have the same level of coverage that everyone greatly appreciates and is amazed by and celebrates? It's done really good for the Premier League, for a foreign league, just do the same thing here. And instead of making us having to pay 15 bucks for, for what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, they're very worried about the amount of subscriptions sold, that being forty percent. And I wouldn't be surprised if they drop them. To be honest, I think that whole deal gets dropped. Shit, I would mm-hmm. too. 
I mean, like if if the this <clears throat> let's see, I have another tweet here uh, from some LAFC fan account, but he's in my opinion, he's right. This person, I mean, not okay, not right, but, but a little uh, closer to what we we're saying. But he said we don't mind paying CMLS games, but when they're all in a five-hour window in one day, it decreases our enjoyment throughout the week, and f- frequency creates consumer value. This is more fan disconnect, and it feels like we pay for one evening per week worth of entertainment. Entirely true. Entirely yes. true. And then this other person says, technical manager um, on Twitter says, if it gets to a point where Apple drops MLS, the league would have to revise its entire business model, structure, and product. The damage that will be done to the league by Apple opting out can be somewhat catastrophic for soccer in this country. And that's totally true. And that's MLS's fault for putting themselves in this position. I don't understand what they expected. Like, there's no way you expected 60% more people to pay for this. Yeah. In, a, yeah. in a country where we're exceedingly having to pay more over time for things that we've had to pay less for historically, even in the recent weeks, months, day, uh, you know, years, whatever, we're not going to want to pay 15 bucks extra. That's a premium. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's a, that's an extra that we don't have to pay. I'm not paying that. I'm paying for college tuition. Yep. I'm paying 15 bucks, you know, stupid. It's lame. It's, almost brings MLS back a little bit, kind of limits expansion. Because if, if, if we had to pay 15 bucks to watch the Premier League, you know, if, or if it was hidden behind some wall, some paywall, some something, we wouldn't okay. be sitting here right now talking about it. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, well, probably. I would pay it, but I think less people would in America. Less people the would the market paying. would not be yeah. that good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Yeah. Oh, oh silly MLS. I mean, when are, they, you... when are they never not? Let's be real. Like, they're yeah. never not silly. They're, they're they just keep being silly because it gives us views. It keeps us, <laughs> it gives it gives us, us views. engagement. Yeah. Keep being you know silly. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> silly. Uh, I'm just kidding. I want them to be. A, I want them to be a, a league taken seriously by the world because that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. As, as an MLS fan, as an LAFC fan, as an American USMNT fan, I want that to happen. It's not going to happen with how with how with how it's going right now. Um, okay. Oh, man, I forgot to say this in the beginning of the video, but I will say congratulations to Harry Kane on his fourth baby expecting by his wife. He's That's clinical right. on and off the pitch. Oh, clinical on and off the pitch. He, he is. He was so, trying to finish in the box. What can we say? All right. Well, okay. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. it's expected. We expect I was about to say, I thought you were going to say for his acting job, but you know what? That too. Congrats. Hey, so, hey, acting job. No, 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 no. That was no acting job. You okay, didn't get gouged yeah. in the face and like that. He didn't get gouged in the face. Relax. He did, bro. He got he got slapped. He got he got clawed. He got, he got, clawed. He got clawed, brother. Okay, but anyways, yes. anyways, like anyways let's get. I would defend. Him. Speaking it. of Tottenham, speaking of the Premier League, speaking, oh, God damn it. Of <laughs> speaking of Tottenham, they're quite in a pickle at the moment. Well, Manager okay. Let's, wait, why are we why are we talking about Tottenham? We, no, let's just, let, let's go Chelsea, Grand Potter, oh, and then we can, and then I'll move to Tottenham right now. All right, now. let's move across London and this, let's talk both, about Grand Potter. We're both related <laughs> and, here. Mm-hmm. Um, both managerless. Both okay. Three, both trash. Two two days ago, two days ago, three days ago, whatever. When this video is uploaded three days ago, as of recording two days ago, Grand Potter was sacked from Chelsea. Long time coming. Everyone knew it was going to happen. I'm surprised it happened so late. Oh, well, well, that's a whole different topic. I don't want to you know, talk about that right now because I could take up to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. Um, he has been sacked, leaving Chelsea and Tottenham in a very similar race. Two teams with two big projects, wanting two big managers. Pretty big competition here. Now, we were talking, we made a video last week about Julian Nagelsmann, how he's perfect. Diego thinks he's perfect for the Tottenham project. Uh, I, I don't disagree. I think he's a great project manager. And I do think if he was the number one option for both teams, he's going to pick Chelsea. I think many managers in the, league would, in the, in the, in the world would. Um, however, I'm kind of opposed to signing him personally. I'd rather sign Luis Enrique. Personally, okay. Yeah, hot yeah. Take, hot I know take. you weren't expecting that. You weren't expecting I'm not, that because, I don't, I well, see, oh, okay. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I'm, I was well, going to say, I'm not surprised because I feel like, like, um, 
Chelsea's philosophy at the moment is like get who's whoever's hot, right? And right now well, he's I kind think, of a hot man to take at the moment. He's. I, I think okay, so I feel like we do okay. We're in this project. We're in this project right now. Julian Nagelsmann, perfect project manager. We discussed that. Okay, if this was the beginning of the season, and we had to make a signing, I'd pick Nagelsmann for this project pre spending January transfer window, right? At this point, I don't necessarily want that much of a project manager because he's young. It takes a little bit of time for his ideas to be implemented. Definitely much better than Grand Potter. But he, he that's what he is, is a very is a is a much better Grand Potter. I, in my opinion. I think it, it'll take time. It'll he he's he has the pedigree, whatever, but he, he's young. He's not as experienced. Doesn't mean he's not successful. Because I do believe if he came, he'd be good. But I, personally, I'd rather pick the experienced manager, Luis Enrique. He's really good at man managing, apparently as well. And I'm, and he he wants to have his opportunity in the Premier League. So I would not be opposed to him over Nagelsmann. The only thing I have with him is he his recent club record is not good at all. That being, I believe Roma and. This is Celta Vigo, and even Spain is kind of the whatever. But that's my spiel. That's my spiel on why I would pick him over Julian Nagelsmann. Not to say I would disagree with the Nagelsmann signing. I'd be very excited about it, and I would not. I, I, would, I would celebrate it. I'd back him the whole way. But that is my spiel. There you go. Or address, whichever one. I mean, I, 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 I think I, they'll pick Nagelsmann. <coughs> Sorry, I, I would butcher his name, but no, I think they'll pick him. I, I was going to say... Uh, well, I don't. I don't know who they're gonna pick. I'm, I'm, I, I know who I want Tom to pick, but we're so <laughs> slow and incompetent that I have no idea if we're actually gonna do it. For Chelsea, I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I really don't. Um, do, I, do I wish you would go for Enrique? Yeah, because that means we get Nagels, man. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I get your point, though. I think you have a fair point. Um, yeah. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, I think. I mean, being Chelsea fan is very exciting right now because. Um, well, we do have Real Madrid coming up. We're going to lose that. I'm, I, I've lost the hope. Um, but, um, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm, I'm still going to be there to back my boys, but, you know, two weeks ago was a different story than right now. Um, however, I do after think this, Chelsea are going to have their this pick. Today's performance, I agree. Tottenham, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why. Tottenham, um, Tottenham's waiting until summer. Yeah. Um, Chelsea, I agree. I, we're hearing differing, differing reports. But Chelsea seems to want slash have the power to sign whenever they want. They want to go through, I think, four or five candidates, interview them, the whole process. But they're not going to necessarily wait till the end of the transfer window, or to, to the end of the season. Sorry, and that gives us all the power to pick anyone we want. I know um, Carlo Ancelotti's name was brought up a little bit, but not really consideration. I think Pochettino Zidane. has been Zidane, of course, Pochettino, but I think no contact has been made between those two yet. Um, um, Tite. Brazil manager was mentioned too, but but that's like like he has as much he's interested in the job. So am I. It like it doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we have our uh, options, and I think I hope they go with the right pick, and and whoever they get is going to get back. But I just hope we pick the right one for you, us. I, I mean, and and we, there's a lot of people pick because there's a lot of people just got sacked. Tommy, even Thomas Tuchel. Oh, he said he just said yesterday he's like. He basically said that he would have he would try to get the Chelsea job back if he didn't get the Bayern Munich job right now. Ah. Ah. Did you guys see what uh, Fabrizio uh, updated like twelve hours ago about the Nagelsmann to Chelsea? Uh, he said that. He uh, uh, I think I sent it. I'm not too sure. He said as soon as possible, new contacts with Nagelsmann took place today after talks and purchase started two days ago. He still remains oh, yeah. the favorite candidate, stuff like that. So yeah, I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they announce it. In, in this yeah, week or I'm, next I'm week. not I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, he also says Chelsea wanted to coach new head coach as soon as possible. Um, Luis Enrique is appreciated. He'd be keen on taking the job. Uh, we also want Ruben um, Amodim. That's also a candidate as well, but we haven't contacted him yeah, at all. Um, another name was Deserby from from Brighton, but. Not really, because he, he has a clause that he can't leave until the summer, and he's not the manager we want anyway. Um. So, so yeah, I mean that's that's, that's also pretty much my spiel. But I want 
that's my Enrique over over him over uh, Nagusma now. However, let's act, let, let, we should pivot to Tottenham a little bit. Given that Nagusman come Nagusman and Enrique are both unavailable for whatever reason, whatever reason, I don't know why. Um, maybe PSG sack their manager and one of them comes in. I don't know something. Would you take Graham Potter or Brendan Rodgers? No, fuck oh, no. God. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, language, but no. Brendan Rodgers is a no. 100% no. Um, what about the magic he brought to Leicester? Come on. That's great. That's good magic. You need some magic. You're kind of dead in the water. Rafa Benitez? Hold on. Rafa Benitez? I don't oh, know. my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> Big Sam? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, the weird thing is I would actually probably take Graham Potter. Um, oh God! Uh, no, I think he is a talented manager. I think he was put in the wrong situation at Chelsea. Um, let's be honest, the situation at Chelsea is very, very interesting right now. <laughs> uh, let's not talk about the second half of the table. Um, you can see hey, Chelsea we're, at we're, West Ham. Hey, 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 hey. hey, let's let's let's. First of all, we're in first place on this on the second half on the second page. <laughs> Excuse me, first and we're we're, we're in page. fourth. All right. Calm down, pipe down. Let's go. Well, Come on, Andres. <laughs> I know. And excuse me, sir. Don't talk about the bottom half of our oh. table. There's three of us, and two of our teams are in the bottom half. So therefore, we should talk about it. All right. So relax. That's, that's relax. That's, Put that's, some okay. respect on the bottom half of the table. That's the most Come interesting on. part of the I'm, season I'm, I'm at the gonna... moment. Everyone's talking about the bottom half of the table. That's true. <laughs> that's a great part of our relegation right there. Um. <laughs> Historic relegation battle right here. <laughs> this is story. Um, no, what I was gonna say is, uh, yeah, the Chelsea position is interesting, but like the fact that we are so upset with Tom, like Tana fans, I mean, are so upset with the situation right now and how shitty it is and how bad it's going, and that we're still fighting for fourth right now, and we're in fourth right now. Uh, I think is like almost a, it's a, it's a testament to we have a good foundation. We just need to make the right moves soon. Um, and, and, and correctly. And so that's why I still have hope. That's why I do think someone like Graham Potter, I know it was a very terrible time at Chelsea. He did not impress whatsoever. I still think he could show up big and, and be a great manager for us. Obviously, I would say I prefer, I would prefer Nagelsmann. I'm not going to lie, but I think both are, both are valid. Um, See, with, I, with, sorry, you want to just, I was yeah. going to say, uh, you know, controversial statement right yes. here. But I don't think Graham Potter is an actual good manager. I think his time at Brighton was actually just backroom staff helping him out, the scouting making him look good. But it was actually the players that they brought in made him look really good, and he got exposed at Chelsea. Now, this is an overreaction, but (laughs) switching over to West Ham real quick, just real quick, I saw a report today that West Ham actually reviewed as Graham Potter as a potential replacement for Moyes if he does get sacked. And they said they didn't want him because they believe that the backroom staff actually made Graham Potter look good at Brighton. And their top finish was only ninth. So they said they weren't convinced by it. I'm just saying. That is, I don't think he's that good of a manager. I will say that, so I'm the most first-hand experience we have with Graham Potter because of Chelsea, right? Um, Graham Potter was thrown thrown into the into the lake with with a with bricks attached to his feet at Chelsea. Like he, it was there was very little chance he was going to succeed because he's not that kind of manager. He's he's not that you come in to an already successful club, you get the players you want, and boom, right? Um, I think Graham Potter is perfect for a project team. Chelsea Chelsea is a project team, but we're not a project team. Like like we're very it's a very unique situation. It's because we're a project team, and that project can be done within a day. But uh, the players, the, the parts of the project can be done within a day. It's just the right person to put them together. He's not that person. Tottenham, however, I said this in the Nagasma thing too. Uh, Tottenham have a longer year or two project on their hands, and the whole thing with Graham Potter is that his ideas don't really mesh into a team for a year, year and a half. And Tottenham would be, I think if he goes to Tottenham right now, that'd be perfect for him because this summer got to be a clear out mm-hmm. or got to be a clear out slash huge, massive, massive input. And that, that was his an opportunity. He has to, he has to, oh, he, that man has that to go. Sanchez. Get him out. Her, Sanchez is gone. Lloris could be gone. Uh, yeah. You know, or Lloris, I mean, yeah. Or <laughs> more like new goalkeeper coming in. Harry Kane's probably gone. Even so, I don't know. But, Graham Potter gets 
if Graham Potter can get a backroom staff similar to Brighton that gives him the same kind of thing, and he gets the, the young players, young slash undeveloped players that come in that can develop with Graham Potter, give him a year, year and a half, and then you're going to be golden. And then Graham Potter is, is going to be just like Brighton, but with a higher ceiling because higher potential and higher foundation than at Brighton. So I think Graham Potter is going to be, would be a perfect signing. Now it's just a matter of Daniel Levy accepting that he has to wait mm-hmm. instead of signing some stupid signing just because of yes. the name Agreed. and and thinking they're going to win and then the cycle continues in eight months. Right? Yep. Yep. So my spiel. My spiel. Agreed. 100%. Yep. I have nothing to add. That is, that is accurate. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. I what just I'm here for. The I... game. He just came in here locked in today. <laughs> He's locked what can in. I say? <laughs> I mean, I do know Graham Potter was offered, I don't know, I don't want to say offer the job, but offered an interview with, um, with Lester. And he did turn it down because he wants a break. But two th- a two, three month break before summer is good enough. And he can sign with Tottenham right I now. think so too. I think so That's too. That's all I'm going to say. That's Imagine all I'm going to say. Tottenham bottled it though and they dropped to like eighth. That would be embarrassing. I mm, I doubt it because at the same time, like United's not doing too hot right now either. That's <laughs> so true. Like, you know. But if we take a live look at the table, Newcastle <laughs> they have two games in hand, currently tied with Tottenham in 50 points. United, two games in hand, also tied on 50 points. Brighton two games in hand on 46 <laughs> points and uh yeah that's that's pretty much close enough villa's on 44 but you know they it's have... gonna be interesting because whoever, whoever gets yeah fourth. Let's, not let's just, we can um actually <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not joking no you're not oh, joking yeah, yeah. Hey, you, your Andres, team Andres, pissed Andres. me off the other day if <laughs> If you and I can't get Champions League, Dale can't either, okay? We, 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 exactly. we, we can't have just one person be like, we're in Champions League football. Exactly. No, no, we can't. And saying. we will. No, we can't. We all got to suffer in Europa League. <laughs> uh, <no>. Well, <laughs> well we have a shot. You guys don't. So, you know, Chelsea. Sorry, bud. Well, yeah, Chelsea are gone. Chelsea they, don't. They, they ain't playing shit next season. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, they'll be Arsenal. They'll be like hey, Arsenal. We can still win the Champions League. We can still win the Champions you League. You just uh... said you have no hope. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I'm just right kidding. Back, I'm clocked out. I'm clocked out this season. You guys know that. I'm, I'm just I'm yeah, ready for I'm, season. I'm all ready for the, the game tomorrow. I'm locked in. You know, it's either I'm happy being mid-table, but it gets boring because you don't have nothing to really have fun, nothing fighting for. But if you're like relegation, every game matters. So like, you know, it's I'm just waiting the, for the, the an Instagram post that says, let's go boys. And then afterwards, like, that was so shit. Why are we so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's hey, like hey come on, it's game like clockwork. Hey, hey, don't don't disrespect it. It, it increases our odds of winning. Now, not by a lot, but it does increase the odds. It's a, <laughs> all right. Oh. I've seen you do it more this year than any other year, and this is the yeah, worst it's because I'm so locked. Friends with I know it's the te- dog. It's the Ted Lasso show. We're doing so good in that show right now. We're in second. Oh, hey. yeah. It jinxed us. <laughs> It Spoilers. Hey. Spoilers. I saw Spoilers. my fault. Spoilers. It's not even... I'm just telling you. We're in second in the show. It jinxed us from the get-go. They <laughs> no, jinxed we're gonna us. Get, we're going to get hate. We're going to get dislikes. <laughs> For what? God. All right. Anyways. anyways. You I didn't. You it's not even the it. end of the season. We're like past four it. episodes in. Let's just move past it. <laughs> I'm just Thank saying. <laughs> I didn't even God. ruin anything that happened in the actual the show. Just thing. West Ham's like goaded <laughs> somehow. Like, I don't uh, know how, but we're goaded okay. apparently. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just move on. Let's not spoil anything more. Last topic. Okay. <sighs> Pretty briefly, we're going to talk Leo Messi. Real quick. Oh, Leo Messi. Lionel. And MLS. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. Oh. I'll tell you why. Um, Gotta get so Leo Messi, views. it seems exactly. It seems as though <laughs> he won't be he won't be signing with PSG this summer. He'll be signing his contract. Uh, doesn't mean he's going to Barcelona, but he wants to stay in Europe. He was offered four hundred million a year by Al Hilal in the Saudi Arabian League. No shot, he's taking that. Um, he's too big of a goat. Um, he in the back. There you go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, I just want to say you're a great professor, by the way. I I, I haven't been say that. But, Stop kissing um, ass because you're late. <laughs> that's that, yeah, hey, shut the, shut the fuck up. Who talked to you? Who asked you? No one. No one asked you. Okay. I don't right. give a fuck. Just, just, just give me, give me what you're gonna say. Lionel Messi. Give me what uh, you're gonna say. Uh, I was gonna say 
I know, I know there's rumors, you know, whatever people talking, but a return to Barcelona and he wins the Champions League for the first time since 2015. Oh, that is, that is cinema. That is peak cinema. And, and I, I'm here for it. And this is what I want. This is what I, this is what I desire. I, I need this in my life. Sorry. I just had to add that part. I think that was very important. I agree as well. It's not going to happen because he can't get out of the fucking group, group stage. But I agree. I agree. <laughs> Anyways. Maybe they're MLS. up the league. MLS again. So, this was a rumor. I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure it's been debunked. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not really something that's going to happen. But I, wanna, I still want to gauge your opinions on it. On If it were to happen, what would you think about it? Okay. So, of course, Lionel Messi to the MLS has long been a rumor. Past two or three years now, he said, "I'm pretty sure he said he wants to play here, but and I, he, it probably is going to happen at some point. That probably being LFC, Inter Miami, uh, New York, something. Um, but the rumor that I was hearing is that, and like I said, it's probably debunked. But um, what the MLS was considering doing is he was going to come over, pretty much pick who he wants to play with." And a bunch of teams, if not all the teams, were going to split up what he wants to get paid. Because <laughs> they think <laughs> that him coming to the league, him coming to the league would bring enough exposure no. it, it, it before the league. No. And they, the teams would make that money no. back by playing <laughs> Messi. No. Uh, on whatever team he's at. That's t- that, if someone that wants to be taken serious, prime like I don't know. do that. Like I you said, this is that. probably – it's not going to happen. This was a rumor that has been debunked. However, if it were to happen, no. how you know would it be? You know Terrible. what's so sad is it's believable. <laughs> it's a no, believable rumor. because it rumor. totally would happen. And I'm pretty sure it's happened with other athletes, if not in the MLS, at least American sports. But, like, what, <sighs> imagine being the t- – okay, imagine you're paying, I don't know, $500,000 a year – to a player who doesn't even play for your team and is probably going to score against your team when you play him. <laughs> but it's okay. We made money. Like, no, no, no. Come on. I'd if you want to be taken seriously, do not do that in your life. That's like, if at you least do, don't let us know you're doing that. That's like, if you pulled <laughs> yeah. like a 20 out of 10, right. And, uh, and, and you're, and you're dating her, but then this guy's like, Hey, 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 come on, come on. And, and so you're like, Oh, I can make some more money. And, and 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 now you're sharing like no no that's, <laughs> no, where's, where's, that's the that, worst that's so... analogy I've ever no 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 it is come on that's it's a good one that? a good one you, you go you got what I'm saying though right it's I like... get what you're saying but like the analogy just wasn't there but it's fine it so I get random. it get I get it I get it I you know what it's, it's fine it's good just job. embarrassing for the league because the league is the guy and it's embarrassing for the league like the MLS the MLS is climbing up a very steep hill and you know. If they did that, they would just fall immediately straight down from the hill and start from the bottom because that would just be agree. utterly embarrassing. Yeah, like, it, as a whole, I feel like the MLS is really trying to get to that level they want to be at in the next 10, 20 years. Really trying. Uh, and I appreciate that. However, the way they're doing it is they're, like you said, a very steep hill that if anything that goes wrong, Apple TV pulling out, the messy thing happening, some scandal coming out. Ruins the whole thing, and they got to start over again. Yeah, and it's not a good business model. Terrible. You can't really. It's it's really hard at this level to go all or nothing like that. <laughs> um, you know, they're, like they're, putting, they're just filling the holes as they go along instead of like yeah. actually fixing them, and then just hoping for the best that it stays. I hope this, the ship doesn't sink. Agreed. All right, we'll call it there. Under forty five minutes because they need to do some homework. Good student. Good, good student. student here. We're all good students. Dead inside. Sorry, Dead. go on. Oh. 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 <laughs> do we put do we um do we put We're the gonna call it there. <laughs> if if you're in trouble, it, it, talk to a trusted adult if you're um, what's, what's, what's the depression. number? A one eight hundred suicide? I, I don't know. Should call yeah, should call the hotline sure. if you're experiencing okay. Okay. Any, let's any just <laughs> let's just end this video now. If, if Messi point... comes back to Barcelona, I will be I feel much better. Messi, save okay. life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Save life. We're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching if you got to this point.
Uh, if you enjoyed it, want to watch more, consider uh, subscribing. We got one, one episode per week. We'll cut it up during the week, too, so those videos are out. Uh, but let's hope we don't get canceled soon, because that would be pretty bad. Um, no. Uncancelable. Uncancelable. We'll, we'll, we'll hopefully see you guys We accept the, the challenge. We'll see you guys next week. Bring it on. Have a good night. Peace. Peace.